What's going on guys, Tyler here and welcome to Season 1, Episode 8 and the return of Addicts Editions. With the January transfer window now open, this series will be coming back onto the channel as of course, hopefully, Charlton will be assigning some players over the course of this window. Aston Villa winger Andre Green joins Charlton on loan until the end of the season. The 21-year-old comes into the club as our first January transfer window signing and this is a much needed addition, man. With the injuries that we've got at the moment, Green is exactly what we need. With Taylor, um, sorry, with Bon out injured for a couple of weeks following his injury that he picked up against Derby, I believe. And then, of course, with Jonathan Lecco, sadly, uh, receiving an ACL injury. He's now out for the entire season. Green is a much needed addition. We need him to go up top, man, and I'm really excited with this signing. He, of course, has bagged a couple goals against us before, so now he's going to be bagging it for us, and I am really looking forward to seeing what Green can offer for this Charlton side. So let's have a look and see what the article says on Charlton's website about the signing of Andre Green. So, Charlton have completed the signing of Andre Green on loan until the end of the season from Aston Villa. The 21-year-old winger, who played an important role in Villa's promotion to the Premier League last season, becomes the Addicts' first signing of the January transfer window. Green made 22 appearances for Aston Villa in that promotion campaign, establishing himself after returning from a loan spell at Portsmouth and was involved, to involved in both the playoff semi-finals and the final victory over Derby County at Wembley. He had previously been on loan with Preston North End this season. Barrio said, we're looking forward to working with him. He's a young, exciting player who is quick. Last season, he helped Villa to get into the Premier League, so for me, he is very exciting. You need a bit of pace in the team, and Andre has that. He can play out wide, but also up top, like a Carlin Grant or like a Lecco. Lecco was an out-and-out -out winger when he came, and we used him as a second striker, and he got five goals and four assists. We'll be looking for the same things from Andre. In 1v1 situations, he's very good. He can provide for others, so we're just looking to get him on, get him on the ball in the final third. The Aston Villa graduate has netted twice against the Addicts, the first time during his loan spell with Portsmouth in Charlton's 2-1 win at Fratton Park last season, and the second time for his parent club in Chris Solly's testimonial this summer in pre-season in a 4-1 win. Head of recruitment Steve Gallen said he's a replaceable he's a replacement for Jonathan Lecco and he's a very good replacement. We tried to sign him in the summer and we've had an eye on him for a while. He's a good addition to the team. He's fast, attacking and helpful and helped Villa to promotion last season so we're pleased. I'm also pleased we've been able to get get a signing at the start of the transfer window to support the manager given the injuries we have at the moment. Green, a former England youth international is set to train with his new teammates for the first time on Friday and will not be available to feature in Thursday's game against Swansea City he didn't feature. His first interview as a Charlton player will be available on Valley Pass later this week. Now on to my thoughts of the signing of Andre Green. Now of course I think that this is a really exciting signing. I actually really like Green. He's got some speed. He's got some trickery. Quite similar to Lecco and Carlin Grant. Like, like, like what Lee Bowyer said, he can play in kind of those positions. He's predominantly a winger, particularly a left-sided winger. So it's quite interesting as to see where we're going to deploy him. Are we going to play him as a striker? Are we going to play him in the midfield? Are we even going to be playing him at left wing back? We could even play him there. We don't know, but I, I strongly doubt that. Um... Now, if you have a look at Green's goal-scoring record, his goal-scoring record is not particularly great. He, of course, was on loan with Preston at the start of the season, and he didn't really get much game time there. But Preston fans, um, Preston fans have been saying that when Green was playing for them, you could see glimpses of how good he was. So... I think he will get the game time here. Of course, he lacked the game time at Preston. He lacked the game time at Aston Villa, hence why he's been sent out on loan. And he's now come to us. And I think that this is a much-needed addition, of course, with the strikers we've got at the moment. With Bon injured, Taylor picked up a knock against Swansea. We don't know how bad that is. And, of course, with Toma Hemmed and Chuck Sanike, of course, out injured as well. But they're coming back very soon. Green comes at a perfect time. We do need the player to come in now. Of course, as I keep saying, Green did lack the game time amongst his career. The majority of the time, he hasn't really got much game time. But I definitely think Green is going to get that here. Of course, he's quick. He's got some good feet, good on one-on-one -on -one situations. And I think Green will definitely be... It will mean he was a much-needed addition. And it's so good that we've been able to kick off the transfer window quite positively with a signing uh, this good as well, with a signing so quick with two days into the season and with an exciting player like Green. I'm excited to see him play and I... I suspect that he will be playing in the FA Cup game against West Brom uh, on Sunday, which I will be going to, so stay tuned for a matchday vlog for that game. But yeah, Green, 
I'm excited with the signing and yeah, hopefully he can kick off well and get some goals for us because we do need this player. So that is it for this episode of Addicts Edition. So hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, can you possibly leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and turn on those post notifications on so you're notified of when I post. Welcome to Charlton Athletic, Andre Green on loan from Aston Villa until the end of the season. What do you guys think about the signing of Andre Green? Let me know down in the comments below. Is it a good signing or is it a rubbish signing? This has been Tyler Rollinson. Have a nice day and I'll see you all on Sunday for the matchday vlog in the FA Cup third round against West Bromwich Albion. Take it easy, guys. See you later.